Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. And it is time for your Leeds versus Crystal Palace post-match chat. Nil, nil. Not the best game uh, you will see, uh, for sure. Um, not really enjoyable. Those that join me in the watch line, of course, we always have a great time. But it was like pulling teeth at a time watching that Leeds United side tonight. That's truth, right? That is the truth. It was poor. Um, the long balls... <laughs> Uh, unable to pass the ball, uh, keep any sort of sustained possession or pressure. Um, it's tough. It's tough to watch. I We've been spoiled. We've been spoiled. It is what it is, but we have to move. We have to move. And all that matters right now is points, right? Points win. You prize us. We want to stay in the Premier League. A point away at Palace. Fantastic point. Before we dissect it and have a chat about it in some more detail, as is always the case, like the video for me, please. Uh, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in and of course hit that notification bell. We have to think about the positives, right? That's all we have to take from the game, okay? We have five unbeaten now under Jesse. That is a great return for a guy that walked in the door when Leeds United, you could argue, were on the floor, yeah? He came in and we're now unbeaten in five, yeah? Another vital thing is the fact that we have a five-point gap over Everton, who are currently in 18th, all right? We're another point and another step closer towards survival, okay? I know a lot of people will look ahead to the next three fixtures, convinced we're not going to get anything at all and convinced that Everton are going to win their games and therefore close that gap. It's not going to happen like that. I don't think. I don't think anyway. Do you know what I mean? I don't think. I hope and I pray. You know what I mean? I don't think it will. Um, the magic number seems to be 35, 35.7 um, for, for survival. We're on 34. We're on 34. Um, big step tonight um, to, to, towards that. Uh, it was important, uh, the way the game unfolded, that we didn't lose the game. Do you know what I mean? It's important we didn't lose the game. Um, and let's be honest, if we're being totally honest, the way that the game unfolded, especially in the second half, um, it, it, the majority of the play came for Crystal Palace. You know what I mean? Um, 70 minutes onwards, um, it was just all Palace. All Palace. Leeds United didn't have a sniff. Um, you know, uh, Melier made some fantastic saves. Um, you know, double save to to Zaha. I think we're a lot more competitive in the first half. Um, had a chance early doors um, in, in the first half, but uh, in the second half, sorry. But other than that, you know, I can't think of anything really. Uh, the biggest chances fell to Crystal Palace. Um, there was the one in the first half, I think, from Mateta which Cooper did well. Um, Cooper did well all night. You know, I will say this about my captain. You know, he's 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 been fantastic since he's came back into the side. Um, you know, we've had two clean sheets, two clean sheets. It's only the second time that's happened this season, I believe. Um, clean sheets um, against Watford and, and Crystal Palace, both away from home. Um, great return, great return. Four points, two away games, decent. You know, we were shipping goals previously and we were struggling away from home. Um, and we have to remember as well that Crystal Palace haven't lost in five at home. If remember back to the preview, they're not in a great run of form. They'd lost three, but all of them had come away from home. They come back tonight, um, they probably feel that they should have got all three. You know what I mean? Um, but from a Legion United perspective, OK, the game was terrible, man. I can't, I can't, you can't. You can't dress it up. The performance was rubbish. Like Calvin Phillips said that, okay, we defended really well. Um, bodies on the line, um, full of endeavour, you know what I mean? I get all that. But even Calvin said in his post-match, in terms of creating chances, we didn't know. We In that final third, I can't remember any sort of passage of play where we looked like we were going to score. Um, really. Do you know what I mean? I think the chance came in the first half, Cooper header off the back of Joachim Anderson, and it's straight at Guaita. But that, I, can't, I can't really remember anything. Um, and, and also, you could say the same for Palace. Okay, they battered us towards the end. They were definitely in the ascendancy. If anyone was going to score, it was going to be Crystal Palace. But I can't remember anything clear cut, apart from maybe the Mateta one in the first half. You could argue he had one in the second half, but Cooper did really well to get across. And he flashed it high and over. And obviously, Zaha had the, the double chance. But Melier did fantastic. Actually, Gallagher had one as well, uh, sort of on the half volley on his right foot. Um, so yeah, um, maybe I'm giving do, doing Palace a disservice there. Um, but yeah, look, coming back to it, Palace haven't lost in five at home. They beat Arsenal 3 0. They drew with Man City there. Do you know what I mean? 
They drew with Man City at home. They are a good side. You know, OK, the points gap. This is what people are. Oh, they're a good side, are they, in the preview? But we're only X amount of points behind them and all that sort of stuff. But you've seen that tonight, you know. I thought Elise, when he came on, he was fab. Gallagher was good. The only thing with Gallagher, you know, and, and maybe Palace fans are no different, but the more regularly you watch him, the more it's like, get up, mate, get up. Uh, same with Zaha. Um, it's frustrating. I know Zaha probably feels at times hard done by, but um, the way that he goes on on the football pitch at times, for me, as an opposing fan, I don't, I don't enjoy it. And Gallagher spent a lot of time on the floor tonight as well. Uh, tried to get a penalty um, a couple of times, I think. But there was the one actually with Lorente where, where, where he did bring him down, where in real time I was thinking, Diego Lorente, what are you doing? What are you doing sliding in there? Um, Lorente was a bit all over tonight, as I say, the calm one. Um, He's Cooper. He brings so much solidity for us at the back. Obviously, Calvin Phillips got through 90 minutes as well, which is a big plus. Um, Click came off at half-time. On came Robin Cock. Still not sure about Robin Cock in midfield. Um, Gelhart and Greenwood came in. Didn't Neither really got into the game. We really need to improve the squad for me going into next season, for sure. You've only to look at like what Palace were bringing off and uh, bringing on off the bench in Schlupp. Um... Elise, um, who else did they bring on? Uh, ben Teke, we're going to two kids. And you look at the rest of the bench as well, it's it's all centre-backs. Do you know what I mean? Noah Kenna, Strauk, um, Cock was one of them, Creswell. It's all centre-backs. Do you know what I mean? We need that extra little bit of sauce for me. I don't think Rafinha had a good game. I don't think Rafi Rodrigo had a good game. Not No one did, really, from a Legion United perspective, I don't think, apart from Cooper and, and, and Melier as well. Melier probably shared to the man of the match shouts, but I'm always going to back Cooper, you know that. Um, but Melier probably gets it for for, for Leeds United. Um, I, I I thought as well, what I will say, I thought Joel Ward played really well as well for Crystal Palace. Um, it was a real battle at times, which I didn't envisage happening between the two sides. It was really interesting to see. There was It looked like it was going to spill over at one point between Leeds and, and Palace, which isn't something you're used to. Um, but I, I suppose that shows Leeds United are certainly up for the fight. They're not going to roll over and let their bellies be tickled. Do you know what I mean? And it's nice to see them have a little bit of bite because you could argue under Bielsa, that's something we didn't have. We were too nice at times. We know that Bielsa has his, his, his ethos and the way he, I mean, he gave a goal away, for example, if you remember, against Villa. Um, and Pontus Janssen disagreed with that, and we all know what happened there. So I guess in that respect, it's it's nice to see Leeds United have a bit of fight. I can't I can't lie. Do you know what I mean? We've seen Dan James flying in on one on Joel Ward, which you know he got a yellow card. It was a yellow card, but we know that Dan James will give us that. Um, but again, just not on Dan James. You know, I I really like what he does and what he brings to the side. But when we're just hitting aimless long balls, that was the thing. Even the long balls to try and get him in behind, he never came off. I can remember one. I can remember one. Um, where he managed to actually get on the end of it. Um, but like I say, I think what we have to remember, taking from this, it's five unbeaten. It's a five-point gap to Everton, you know? It's a vital point. The lads gave everything on the pitch, OK? Going forward, it was it was poor. Uh, the long balls, we couldn't make any sort of passages of play. It was just coming back as... But, but in terms of the opposite end of it, putting their bodies on the line, the defending, backs to the wall, that was good. You know what I mean? That was good. But overall, the performance, not great. Um, and as a Leeds fan, a terrible game to watch. Um, like I say, ball retention was non-existent. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, maybe we missed Forshaw in there. Maybe we missed Forshaw in there. He could have given us a, you know, we know how, how he likes to uh, keep and caress the ball at times. Um, but I'm just glad to have got through it, knowing how it was going at the end of the game to get through it and have a, another point on the board and, 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 and one less game to play. You know, we keep knocking them off. Keep knocking them off. And again, we've increased the points gap. You know what I mean? Five games left to play now. Of course, the next three, very, very tough. But even if we think to the City game, which happens on Saturday, Everton have got to beat Chelsea. If Everton don't beat Chelsea, and we lose against City, which is highly, highly likely, it's OK. Because it's as you were with another game less. We just have to hope and pray that Chelsea beat Everton, which they should. They should. 
obviously Frank Lampard affect all that. I'm, I'm convinced they might get something, but you know, if it's one on paper, which you know we hope they they should win that game, and, and we should lose to City, okay? But it, it it'll be okay because it's as you were with another game less to play. Look, let's not forget Arsenal. Yes, they've just beaten Chelsea and Man United. Great results. Prior to that, they lost three against Southampton, against Brighton. They'll be feeling the heat as well. They'll be feeling the pressure chasing that top four down. Chelsea are a bit out of sorts at the minute. No Rudiger. You know what I mean? He's on his way to Real Madrid. Back four, not or back five, you know, not that great. But we can get something there. City, mm -mm, I don't know. Um, but yeah, not not the best spectacle tonight. Didn't didn't enjoy it. Not really. I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. You know what I mean? We were spoiled previously. This, you know, it's tough. But it's all about staying in the division. It's all about points. Points win your prizes. Five games unbeaten. And we've increased the gap to Everton who lie in 18th. And it's a good point because, like I say, Palace, Palace haven't lost in in five at home. They don't concede many at home. And we've kept another clean sheet. That's two in a row now. Only the second time this season we've done that. Captain Cooper back, Calvin 90, Melia made some top saves. Take the positives and we move. We move now. Look forward to Saturday against Manchester City. Thank you for watching the video. If you've stuck to the end, smash a like, get your comments in, hit the notification bell. Uh, make sure you join me tomorrow. I'll be doing a Champions League watch along. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you for supporting the channel as always. And enjoy the rest of your evening or enjoy your day if you're watching this after the fact, because it is late. Peace out. Peace, peace, peace.